All right, so you wake up on the beach back on uh, Three Rivers Island on Tefos. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. You think other people get restful sleeps? Is this an adventurer thing? It's definitely an adventurer <laughs> thing. Mm. I'm gonna, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna burn that now. Uh, I'm gonna burn a, a third level spell slot to send to do ascending. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jill, no, <laughs> no, no, no for it, Jill. I just, I do need it, this one. Okay, Jill, do, do it, Jill. Do Jill it. Jill so many monsters. We're on an it's island fine. of monsters. I'm sending off a sending it to two author. I already have a, I already have a response uh. prepared. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to ask this without it sounding like I'm just flirting. So, did I dream about kissing you last night? <laughs> That's what you're spending a third level spell slot on. <laughs> That sounds appropriate. If I die, if I die. <laughs> the response is... I remember you kissing me in a dreamscape, but you might have dreamt about it afterwards, too. It was a pretty good one. <laughs> there was a tilde there. I had to pronounce it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What did she say? This is an important question, uh, Joe. What? You do have to answer this. Oh, did I say... Did I, did I say my sending out loud? I don't know. Did you? Did you? <laughs> I don't typically think that's a, how sendings work, but that's she not, probably no. could have muttered about it. <laughs> Tell me that you were not muttering it aloud to get the number of words right the whole morning yeah, as no. we were packing up our tent. Or well, we yes, that sounds good. That hard, yes, but... yes, she was mumbling word counts aloud before she sent out. Um, hi. Uh, yes. <laughs> the, yes. Yes. Sm right. Smooches didn't happen. That was real. That we did. Mm -hmm. I've also yes. got a new weapon. Oh, he already checks his bag. Ah, you look in you look in your bag and you see uh, the blunder base. Blunder bass, please. Bass, it's fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> the sound of a DM very happy with the magic items <laughs> who've been introduced to their campaign. Oh, it's just every time it happens, I increase the HP counts on the monsters some more. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you say that like the blunderbass is actually useful. It's not. <laughs> it's just a musket. That's it's all it is. It's just a musket. It's just a fish musket. A fushkit. <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely real. She's already got some prayer beads wrapped around her wrist, like, hmm. <laughs> They wink ominously at you. Mm. And yeah, Aviva looks badass as fuck. <laughs> yes, yes, you do actually look extremely good in that, Alviva. Uh-huh. Thank you. I feel good. It's very exciting. I definitely now when idle uh swish it. You swirl your little cloak around? That yeah. is Alviva's idle animation. Exactly, yeah. New idol animation. Who dis? It's like when you get a big poofy dress with a big skirt that swishes and you, so you have to spin around. Exactly. Nice. But also it's the fucking night sky. Hell yeah. Okay, so, well, setting all of that aside, I guess. So cults, huh? Cults. Cults. Monsters. Let's go. Okay, head it out. Yeah. Uh, Wynn pushes up to her feet, kind of pats out herself, and uh, goes to follow Alviva because she don't know fucking how to track. <laughs> yeah, this is, Al this is Alviva's territory. Yep. <laughs> yes, we are once again. This is my domain. Congratulations on, on learning to feel better about being responsible, because yeah, here you timing. go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a quick refresher, three, op three options, uh, fast pace, normal pace, slow pace. Fast paced, you go faster, but negative penalty to uh, wisdom is perception scores and uh, slow pace, you are able to use stealth. Uh, I'm going to suggest we keep going at a normal pace. I don't see a reason why we need to rush it, but also I don't want us to lollygag. How's that sound? That sounds fine. Sounds good. That sounds, that sounds good. Okay. And which way are you going? Um, remind me where we are, if you don't we're mind. We're on the beach, there's, we're at the mouth of one of the rivers, and the 
head that we uh, talked to uh, <laughs> said to follow the river, I believe. I don't have, I have to scan back a little further than usual to get to those five questions. Uh, following the water and then the road was what the route was for that cultist. Right. So are we, are we maybe at that east river? We're on mouth? the western. We're on the western shore. Oh, we're on shore. the western shore. I yeah, believe. you're on the western shore. Uh, you are at the mouth of the middle river on that map you've got. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, then, I think we will do as the head said. Follow the river. <laughs> Though I think never are... go wrong following the instructions of disembodied heads. Yeah. We're going to use our head. Uh, I do think that Alviva wants to try and not go, like, up the river bank, but basically try and be close enough to keep kind of able to hear and smell to a degree the river like aware of where it is but basically like as far a little bit off like you can still like hear running water yeah so like yeah. kind of checking in on it but trying to maintain a bit more space because the river is also where the monsters are likely to be and also things are less um there's less concealment so legit yeah keeping us a little offset but like the river as a reference point if that makes sense Okay, let me just roll some stuff real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. I am going to be casting aid on everybody. So uh, everybody gets uh, hit point max and current hit points increased by five. And that'll be for the next eight hours. Oh, thank you. I'm living for this line in my character sheet. Your group cannot become lost except by magical means. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is very important thing for you to have. I remind you, dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> and also, even when you're engaged in other activity while traveling, such as navigating or tracking, you re remain alert to danger. <laughs> you got danger sense. I got danger sense. So you're getting to about uh, midday. You're keeping the water within earshot. You can smell it, but you're not traveling right next to the water. Um, you are coming up on where the grassland is starting to transform into forest. The trees are still pretty sparse right now, but within another couple of hours, you're going to be into the actual dense forest. Um, and as you're walking, uh, let me just check whose, perception, whose passive perception is what here. Okay, Alviva and Cacophony, you both start to hear horsey noises, like a large group of horses over near the water, only this time you're also hearing the rustling of feathers. Good. Sounds like our Epona friends might be having some trouble or might be flying. I don't know. It could be either way. I don't I don't hear violence, I guess. So it sounds like they're just about to start flying or something. I know everyone's going to get really excited about horses. Sky horses. So hold hold your horses for a moment. Hey. Just see horses. Just in case these are like. Oh, but I'm champing at the bit. Oh, I shouldn't have. I should. <laughs> you opened this door. I've made a mistake. You opened the barn door and I walked right in. Oh also, I gotta roll something. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Jill, you take four psychic damage. <laughs> that is how that works. You are not the yeah, barn. Whatever. Whatever. I would like to sneak closer to the river to scout out what's happening and come back. Uh, okay, roll stealth. That's a 26. Hell yeah. All right, you are uh, sneaking closer to the river. Uh, you are able to use some of the uh, increased brush as cover. Uh, and as you approach, you see that there is a massive herd of winged horses currently drinking from the river. About two-thirds of them are blinding pure white, but the other third appear to be different colors, more natural horse colors. Aviva gives herself a minute to feel awe and wonder, like Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> they do move in herds. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. If she had sunglasses, she'd take them off. <laughs> <laughs> she she pulls out some sunglasses from her bag, puts them on, and then hastily removes them. <laughs> <laughs> she and I think it's also like does that whole like biting your fist kind of thing of like, oh I wanna go bother the horses. Oh I wanna go bother the horses. <laughs> but I'm gonna be good. I'm the more mature Alviva, who does not run off after the horses yet. And I'll yet. go back to the group. Okay. And, oh, okay. So it's actually a bunch of beautiful winged horses. <laughs> oh. oh. Should we bother them then? Or they they seem fine? They seem 
fine. I kind of want to talk to them. I know I... They're... Well, maybe they know something. Maybe they know something. There's a reason. We should talk to them. They might know something. (laughs) All right. Okay. But let's be, I guess, slow and... I wonder, should I go talk to them first? Because I can actually talk to them, talk to them, and let them know. I don't want to spook them. I mean, the the other ones talk telepathically, but, you know, you're probably the most, you know, you've got the highest animal handling score here. Probably. Yeah, well, I can talk horse. So. I don't know if these ones will also speak telepathy. Okay, what do we want to know what they know? What 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 do we want to ask? I would still like to know more about what kinds of monsters are around. Uh, mm-hmm. And maybe they've seen culty kind of people. More info yeah. is always good. Also, yeah. the other ones could, like, do planar travel. Maybe they know about, like, I don't know... A well, a well of infinity, well of evil well. Since they can fly overhead, maybe they know the easiest path up or something. Because we know we got the talking heads version. That's true. But they can fly overhead, so perhaps they see a path. They might know about some deer tracks or horse tracks or something. I wish they could give us a lift, but I'm going to guess that that's going to be too much to ask. Uh, Yeah, it might be a little... A little rude to assume they would willingly be a beast of burden, but yeah. No, go on. Yes. You got this? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Is she asking for permission? (laughs) Yeah, weird, I know. Uh, Okay, Alviva is going to go back, and this time, as I'm getting kind of close to the edge of things, I'm going to purposely be not stealthy, so they can hear that I'm coming, but I'm going to try and, yeah, approach slowly and visibly, hands up up (laughs) yeah it's a bit like i have beast speech so i guess i'm gonna talk horse once they talk presumably i'll do a better job it's a bit weird (laughs) (laughs) it's it's making me think of it's like how does it work speak with animals how do i know what to say but says i can speak to animals i know they might not be beasts also i am worried about this but Anyway, that's my plan. I'm going to be walking up and I guess saying, hello, I mean no harm in horse. (laughs) In horse. There's a lot of wickering. Yeah. Soft neighing. Some some very simulated ear pivots. Yeah, with my hands. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Okay, roll, I would say either persuasion or animal handling, depending how you want to spin this fascinating also hilariously my persuasion is better i'm such good, <laughs> i'm such a good ranger Incredible. <laughs> you do have now have an iron stone that gives you plus two to wisdom have you accounted for that yet it's a good question have That's i true. accounted for that yet i don't think you have because your wisdom was 14 last time yeah okay i think it was partly i got a little nervous about just like how i could modify it without losing track of what my original wisdom was yeah it'd probably be best if we if that was like an item that it is an item it's in your it's your inventory yeah yeah and if yeah and if it's equipped it should just like add that right okay which which just brings it up to the point that my charisma and wisdom are equally uh good but yes okay oof oof that's a nine that's not great Mm. I'm rude. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the uh, the decision up to the. Uh, as you're approaching, you see that there is um, one of the stallions, uh, which is sort of larger and appears to be in a uh, place of prominence. It's 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 weird seeing a mix of both like king stallion behavior and uh, extremely loud prong proud swan behavior in a single animal. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Oh no! My track record with swans. It's bad. It's bad. Maybe the horses are racist. <laughs> so you come over. You start uh, making horse noises. The Pegasus, the Pegasi, the winged horses, all start to respond immediately with alarm. And you're starting to realize that the body language is a bit scrambled to the degree that you can't really understand it. And you think that because these are not natural animals, because they are some form of supernatural creature, that uh, 
uh, speak with animals does not help in a situation like this. Ah, uh, yes. Gary Gygax always fucking me over with the magical yes. beasts. <laughs> Stupid Gary fucked Gary. you again. Fuck me uh, again. <laughs> Can't talk to the cool animals. <laughs> the uh, the larger stallion uh, faces you, uh, stomps a back hoof, and trumpets a uh, a neigh to the rest of the herd. The rest of the herd immediately take off in a big cacophony of wings. And once the rest of the herd has taken off, the king stallion takes off as well. Well... Sorry. We should probably keep moving because that's a large disturbance. <laughs> in the yeah, woods. the rest of the party, you see a huge like <laughs> flock of winged somethings taking off. Oh, in the sky. oh, fuck. About 30 winged horses takes up a lot of space and makes a lot of noise. Yeah. This is fun. I don't think that went well. Yeah. Um, did they shed any feathers? A couple, yeah. I'm going to just pick those up quick, because that's cool, and then I'm going to head back. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if they have, like, magical properties. I don't know. Yeah. So. so welcome back, Leaf. Uh, how did it go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't speak horse. I think, <laughs> I think, in fact, the horse was offensive. <laughs> Okay, well, we've learned something, and that was also a, a really big disturbance for anyone looking out for anything weird to see, so we should probably keep going. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sounds good. All right, so you're going to keep uh, heading along the river? Yes. Yes. Okay, just give me a second here. Speak amongst yourselves. Artie, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm wondering if, like, fish horse or seahorse will will work on skyhorse maybe it's like like seahorse language yes it's a lot oh, of bubbles I mean, it's hard to do on land <laughs> yeah i mean it's different kind of vocalizing isn't it counter question What's what would happen if a winged horse and a seahorse made it uh Normal i horse. think that's uh that that's a that's a pre-existing thing isn't it like a like a horse with like wings and also like a fish tail. That feels like it's already a thing. There's there's so many there's so many mythological horse things. I don't know. Uh, I was wondering if it, like the two halves would come together, they'd make a horse or a fish with wings. There are fish. Yeah, I mean with they both wings. could discount the horse part entirely. There are flying fish. Right. Usually the the fish part is stronger than any sky. But only on the bottom, though. <laughs> I was gonna ask if it was the land, like the air horse or the seahorse, they would have to hold their breath to make this happen. And then I was like, that's the most weird form of breath play I've mentally encountered <laughs> so far. Which doesn't feel like a joke that Alviva would be able to make, but... <laughs> no, not Alviva. So you're passing into the forest proper now. It's it's there's no roads through here. You're mostly following things like deer trails to get through the trees. Alviva, you're being particularly helpful in locating these trails so you don't get snared up in the brush. Yay. As you're getting towards sunset though. Dangerous time. Jill, uh mm -hmm. as you are uh walking through the a particularly thick uh, patch of vines, you feel something snag your boot and you look down and you see that one of the vines has actually grown so fast that it is wrapped around your foot. And then as you're contemplating this, all of the other vines in the area also start rapidly twisting and growing towards the rest of you. And I need you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> We're all thinking it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got a 13. Okay. I got 22. Nice. I got the four. I got a 12. All right, so Alviva, you're up first. All right, what do I see? Obviously, the vines are moving. It looks like from the map, there's three kind of main terminus points of the vines. Yeah, so we're surrounded by, it looks like we've got three vine guys around us at the moment. Is that correct? That is correct, that you know of. Right, <laughs> at the moment. Uh, I don't suppose I have any familiarity with these things now that I'm looking at them. Roll nature. Cool. That is 19. Okay. As you're watching these things move, it's it's sort of like, you know when you watch video of plants growing and fast forward? Yes. It's looking a lot like that. And you're very quickly realizing that these things aren't moving. 
they're growing. They are experiencing time at a much faster rate than you are. It's very cool and very fucked up. So these are just normal plants. They just are looking for the nearest source of nutrients right now, which happens to be you. Mm, which, yeah, okay. And I, that also, so it's natural, because I had a thought at first if it was, uh, like, entangle the spell. But it seems like, no, it's actually plants. It is actually just plants. Okay. I mean, talking's a free action. Hey, these things are rooted in the ground. Should we just leave? Can you just pull yourself free and leave? We could just leave. I don't think they could chase us. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can just we can just try to leave. Uh, we probably might want to cut some of some. We might we'll kind of need to cut ourselves free first. Yeah, but if we can handle that, then I think we could just leave. Fair enough. I'm not currently like tangled up enough. Is is anyone like is uh is Jill potentially actually like restrained? restrained uh if jill takes her action to cut herself free she will be able to run on her turn okay okay could i use a action to cut her free cut myself free with what i have my sword Artie's right next to you yeah Artie's alvivo you're also quite close to jill if you want to run over and cut that vine off her boot you can do it yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna move a little bit um, yeah, I do blunt force damage. I have a hammer. It's not really for cutting. Yeah, no, I'll, I'm going to use my short swords, cut the vines off, and then I also, I just got one of the abilities of my cool new cloak is that I get rogues cutting action. So on top of everything else I've got going on, I can have a bonus action to dash, disengage, or hide. So I've got even like an extra ability to, after I do this, get out. Alviv is just very good at doing a leave. Yes, I've doubled down. Like, her whole character is built around leaving. Yes. It's just an Irish goodbye. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut Jill free and then disengage. Or dash. I guess I'm not technically in combat. I can't figure out how to move myself. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I move over. I do that. And then I run away. <laughs> you run away? Yeah. Okay. I can run all the way over Alviva here. has done a leave. Is that you on your turn? Yes. Okay. Up next is one of the vines turns. As it starts to grow towards you, uh, more vines start to sprout in an area encompassing the remaining three party members. Yeah, you'll get that. <laughs> I need all of you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. I have I have those boots. Can I get advantage <laughs> for jumping jump out boots? of the way? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that more of a dexterity saving throw? Your strength is already so high. <laughs> yeah, but what if I do a bad? Ooh, 18. Five. Already got 13. Okay, so uh, Cacophony is restrained. Uh, Arturos and Giuliana, you are not. You managed to uh, evade the uh, being restrained by the vines. Why do you have a negative one on your strength save? Are, is your strength that bad? I have a strength nice. eight. Yeah. Spectacular. Weak gang. All right, and that is the vines' turn. Uh, Jill. Okay, I guess. Um, okay, so the vines are just all around us, or yeah, the vines are in uh, a fifteen-foot square all around you. Okay. Cacophony also is very movement-based. You've got so many ways to get out of this. Yeah, I've yeah. got. I've got teleport. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I don't need to do shit then. No. All right, then I am just going to uh, also leave while sort of almost like looking over my shoulder on the rag to make sure everybody else gets out. Okay, uh, Jill has done a leave. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Up next is uh, another one of the vines, which as uh, Jill and uh, Alviva, about how far away are you? I know you're at the edge of the map, but I can move you further if necessary. I don't know, 30 feet from where we started? Yeah, yeah. I think I you might have been able to go 60 because you didn't have another action. I used to, Yeah, like... but I think I probably... Jill would probably not use the full movement. I'm going to say I moved, like, 45 feet. So an additional 15 feet? Yeah. Uh, you are seeing beyond the edge of reality right now. Politely ignore it for me, please. <laughs> yeah, the map only goes so and far, And I think to get to your current spot, you only use 25 feet, so you can I can nudge you five feet more if you desire. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I would have moved as far as I could. Um, but I assumed that I used, like, my normal move to get to Jill, my action to cut her free, and then a dash to get 30 feet away. 
And uh, just so everybody else knows from the healer's perspective, I actually can't see anybody else on the map right now. I can just see the map and the effect layer, but uh, yeah, you'll have to describe things for me. Yeah. Paint me a word yeah, picture. It's, you're, you're in the woods right now. You have perhaps lost sight of the party. That's my explanation. Let's do it. Okay. Because I'm playing with ranges here and we're going to see... Oh, yeah, you can still get, uh, we can still get Elviva in the corner there. So Elviva, another bunch of vines sprout out from where you are, and I need you to roll a strength saving throw. All right. Totally what I'm really good at. Uh, 13. Yeah, we cast club. You are not restrained by the vines. You do manage to, uh, evade them, and that is the end of the vines' turn. Uh, up next is Cacophony. You are currently restrained by vines. She looks down and she goes, I am not into this. And Misty steps 30 feet away. <laughs> Make sure you don't Misty step into the other vines. Yeah, I just need to figure out what 30 feet is. There we go. And then I also have 40 feet I can move beyond. I have 80 feet I can move beyond that. Jeezy crazy. So then I just move, I move 80 more feet. You fucking monk. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, so my Misty Step, normally very dramatic whenever Cacophony does it. For when it's kind of got like kind of an ember tint to it. It's a little bit smoky, a little bit like there's flashes of red swirling around her and it makes like a little bit of smoke. And then she like appears 30 feet away and then just kind of keeps trotting. Little sparks. <laughs> That's Cacophony's turn. Uh, up- and you'll have to move me off the edge of the map. Yeah, I think, you, know. I, you, you, went, you went the 30 feet. You're fine. Up next is the third vine. Let's see how far it can reach. Not far enough to get wind, so it is just going to try and ensnare Artie. Uh, Artie, I need you to roll strength saving throw. Okay. I don't know why you're worried. That's your best stat. Yeah, but I don't roll good. <laughs> the odds are in your favor. See? Oh, 26. 26. I think you're fine. See? Uh, Artie got a 26. Artie got a 26. You are fine. That is the end of the vine's turn. It is now Arturos' turn. Uh, Artie does a leave with his friends. Okay. As you are departing, the tree next to you lashes out with one of its roots. All right. And then what? Uh, We're finding out here. Uh, 12 does not hit your AC. No. Nice try. All right. The tree does not successfully grab you, and you also manage to run away. I assume you're all just doing a leave from here on out? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Encounter over. Congratulations. You solved my plant puzzle. Yay. Yep. I hope do we still get XP? <laughs> no. <laughs> we defeated it cleverly. <laughs> now hold on everyone, on second thought, I'd like to level up. Maybe we should go back. <laughs> I am sure we will have so many opportunities to fight shit later. <laughs> this is an island of monsters. Yeah. I am sure if you if you ask the fates loud enough. A whole ass chimera will just land on us, and it'll be great. <laughs> that was not a. That was not an ass. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't speak that into the world. <laughs> be careful what you speak into existence. All right, so uh, it is now coming up on uh, sunset. You can keep going, or you can make camp here. Let's maybe go a little bit further away from where all these hungry fast plants are. But then I don't think we need to do like night travel again we're not in a rush okay so you walk for about Mm. another hour or so uh to get a safe distance away from the plants uh and then you find yourselves in the middle of the woods you manage to find a nice clearing that's uh decent for camping all right let me do this says win and she starts walking in a big circle uh and as she's walking she delicately drags her old rapier on the ground just because she doesn't want to dirty the new conductor button and she's dragging it on the ground and as she goes There's, like, little fits and sparks, like something's trying to come up, and then, like, smoke rises up, and then that half egg of magical hut appears. That seemed cooler than usual. Thanks, Artie. You're welcome. And then we gotta go into my nice little magic hut. Yay. Yes. All right, so, is anyone taking watches? Yes. Yes. Remember, we've learned our lesson, do not attack anything that's out at night. (laughs) Just kind of stay inside the hut. Assume We're also not pass. parked next to a large corpse, so that's probably in our favor. Yeah. That is going to help. Uh, do you have a fire? Nah. No. Okay. How about no? No, the hut keeps us warm, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Hut, the hut keeps you warm. Yeah, and we've probably got, like, rations that don't necessarily need, like... Yeah, we're probably we're just, good. We're just an ominous, opaque orb in the middle of the, middle of the woods. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. 
Ez, were you also exhausted from the dream? Yeah, that was a lot. I feel like... <laughs> that was a lot. Uh, 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 I might not wake up. I should point <laughs> out that Mishikal's magic left you feeling pretty refreshed, actually. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but like emotionally exhausted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you oh, have yeah, any true. idea what emotional exhaustion does to a person? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I actually do. Yes. Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It makes sleep. Well, I can take one watch. <sighs> okay. I can take <sighs> two watches. That's right, because you only have to sleep for four hours. Yep. It's been so long. I don't remember how we do this. How many watches do we need? Three. Well, then there we go. Three four-hour watches for everyone to get a chance to sleep. Uh, if you okay. cover the first V, I'll cover two and three. Sounds good. All right, so, El Vivo, oh. you settle in for a watch. Uh, the rest yeah. of you go to bed. Uh, I am going to use... Sorry, I am... Oh, go for it. Oh, no, you can go ahead. I just, I finished typing out sendings. I have some to send off tonight. Right. Okay, do that first, and then I'll I'll do a thing at the start of my watch. Okay. Um, so, first one goes out to Bondar. It's fairly brief. Uneventful day, into the woods now, making good time. Had weird dreams last night, but that's not your problem. Bondar just goes, okay. <laughs> After a couple of seconds, you get an answer back that says, thank you for not reciting your dream journal. Stay safe. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, then she is going to do ascending to Max, which is, uh, just... So we're all clear. This is replying to a... Uh... <laughs> I think this is in response to, oh, fuck, I just woke up. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. You did one after this. Oh, did I? Yeah. This was from yesterday, yes, technically, okay. at the beach. The It was Juliana like, hey, do you want to like actually tell me what the fuck the problem is? And he was like, well, it turns out I'm hot and sad. <laughs> <laughs> was that the message? <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Do you, want me to, do you want me to read it off? Because I'm pretty sure I just summarized it. Yeah, it yeah, basically yeah. means I'm hot and sad. But the actual thing right. is along the lines of Vodon is full of liars and deceivers and I know yes, and manipulators was, and I know you hate those. Exactly. Yes, I'm hot and sad. Yeah, I'm hot and we sad. Said the same, they're the same picture. It's, yeah, it's the same. Vodon is same bad. Message. You would not like it here. I'm hot and sad. Jill just has an internal anger translator at all times. <laughs> And so the uh, thing that was like, you would hate it here is directly what she's responding to here. And her sending is, all due respect, what I do or don't like is my decision, not yours. But, yeah, I'll probably hate vote on. Guess we'll find out soon. After about a minute, you get the, uh, you get the sending equivalent of red. Great. <sighs> okay. And then she will burn the Pearl of Power and chew her lip for a minute because that also just left a bad taste in her mouth. And then calls out to the others like, I should just ask him, right? I should just ask Lachlan if he wants to be my boyfriend. <laughs> I, should just, I should just say that, right? Yeah, just do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's that definitely one... fine. We're all here for you. We've only been on two dates and we don't really talk a whole lot. We just kind of make out. It's usually just like, hi, how's your day? Oh, actually, I know because I just was there for like the last eight hours and I could see everything. Anyway, do you want to go kiss? And then we don't really like talk about shit. That, that... The talking will come with time, Jill. Yeah? Yeah. It's probably fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. I have no idea. Right. 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 Okay. 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 So I can just do this over ascending. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. I just do this over ascending. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. He'll definitely reply. He'll definitely uh, reply to me. He he would he would reply to me. Right. 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 He's nicer than Max. So yes. He's probably not as busy. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and then she will send off to Lachlan and made it from the beach to the woods. Safe travels today. How are you? Uh, no worries if not, but do you maybe want to be my boyfriend? <laughs> you get back and apply a reply pretty much immediately that says, <laughs> What was that you said? Your last word cut off. Fill me in when possible. I'll be thinking of you. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> Juliana <laughs> stares into nothing, open mouth. <laughs> the fucking anime fireworks! 
<laughs> then starts <laughs> rapidly counting on her fingers. Gets to 25, 24, 25, 26, 27. <laughs> It cut off at, do you maybe want to be? <laughs> Amazing. And she stares into the void. Uh, are, so, it, so do we have our bedrolls out? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Great. She's just going to go find her pillow, hold it up to her face, and there is a muffled <laughs> screaming. Uh, what Wynn looks over towards Artie and Alviva and says, does that mean he said yes? Or something went wrong? It's impossible to know. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. It could be either one. Uh, either I way, they're up. there. I Still, up. is that a he said yes or something went wrong? Scream. I, I do listen. Up. I listen. Not unsympathetic. I care. This is really emotional. And I really appreciate you screaming into the pillow, and you will have to keep doing that because there are a lot of monsters in these woods. So, yes. like, I again, totally sympathetic. Not that I don't care, but please do keep screaming into the pillow. Do not yeah, take no, the pillow no, off and scream. It's okay. It's totally, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Hey, which way was the river? Because I can just go drown myself now. No, oh, we need no. you. You're a friend, and we don't want you to drown yourself. Yeah, don't do he, that. He didn't. He didn't get it. He didn't he get didn't the sending? Get Is he dead? I fucked up. What? How'd you fuck <laughs> too up? Too many letters! Too many words! Uh. I fucked up! <laughs> that happens. I think you're fine. It's like a, it's a practice round. Now, you, now you've now you done it once, it'll be easier to do tomorrow. No. Yeah, you did it once. It's yeah, no, it's gonna, it's gonna go great. It's gonna go great. Yeah, no, next time I get some third level spells back, I'll just say, oh, yeah, sorry, that was a typo. What I meant was, <laughs> do you want to be my boyfriend? Yeah, I can do that again. No, no. <laughs> do you want me to do it? No. We can figure it out. Oh, I fucked up so bad. We'll figure God, it out together, the... Jill. We'll write it. We'll make you a little script so you can just no. read it off real quick. Listen, oh, I'm so listen. Lachlan is kind of a little shit, right? <laughs> is he? Surprisingly so. Kind of. So I think he's going to find this funny. And I think that it'll be a funny moment. But it will be acute funny that the two of you in a hundred years when you have 50 babies will look back on and giggle at. I don't think is he lives a hundred years. <laughs> Alviva's like counting on her fingers like, what? How long is do that you how live? many humans can have? I don't think half-orcs live a hundred years, Alviva. I can, I can, I think Azamar max out to about 150, but I don't think half-orcs live that long. I, I don't know how long you live, I'm oh, sorry. Oh no, half-orcs don't live that long. Oh no. <laughs> Gem Gemma is performed by Annie Creighton, Anna Emmeline, Alexi Peppers, Rio Rios, Kit Walker, and Mackenzie Weaver, and is edited by Jake Mason. Our character designs are by Rio Rios, who you can find at V Rios Art on Twitter, and our cover art is by Canary Witch, who you can find at doodlesfromthebird.tumblr.com. Our opening and closing music is by Reckoning Storm Audio Works. Check out our website at crookedrussiancam.horse or .gay. You can also find bonus Gem Jammer content at patreon.com slash the Gem Jam, including Gilliana's private diary, as well as bonus content for our other shows. Thank you very much for listening, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time. Okay, let me just roll some stuff real quick, talk amongst yourselves. So the boy in the box was sorted out. I say out of character. <laughs> I was like, if that was in character, what have I forgotten? <laughs>